Oh, he now. Okay, he got me. He got me. <laughs> oh, hello, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. How are you? Look what we got going on here. Yeah, this was obviously you're looking at a satellite. Look at that blast, that underwater blast, shockwave generated by this recent eruption of Hunga Tonga volcano. Incredible. Uh, that's big. That is most definitely big. And, you know, a sign of the times? Or could there be a technology involved? Well, we'll share with you what the guides were saying. Fascinating to see the changes in this area, too, because this area is where, um, well, according to what's been seen by some, should we call them prophets? I mean, people like Edgar Casey and others, there's going to be a lot more land in the Pacific. Mm -hmm. And is this part of the process or is this uh, just more artificial flavoring being involved? Well, you know, you got to consider since so many things have been written in scriptures, if this is something that they knew would happen beforehand. And if they knew that, is there a way to kind of make these things happen? And when we look at the Dyson sphere, I really personally, I don't see how any of this could not be controlled by other entities. But at this also, when I asked about it, yes, there is technology involved to enhance these things and to make things come upon faster, which does concern me. I saw stuff coming from the sky, also making contact with things that are already in the earth. Well, you know, how many people realize that there are basically half a billion known satellites up there? I know. There's just so many, and it's not right. To clutter it up that way is sad. There's more satellites up there than there are people in the U.S. and Mexico, basically, combined. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot of satellites up there. Now, this one, as you can see, it's erupted many times, and you see 2021, 2014, 2009, 1988. It's an underwater volcano. Um, right here, it's saying the ash went up to 55,000 feet. I saw another spot saying 63,000 feet. Anyway, you look at it, that's big. And again, um, as those in the know have said, and like our friend David over at DAP2030, when you get the big ones going around and close to the equator, pushing the ash up to that high a level, then, you know, the likelihood of things starting to consistently cool off becomes greater and greater and greater. Um, we were just checking out the heliplots. We see a lot of these. Now, these, these are data centers all over the globe that will show when they're shaking, major shaking going on. One thing I know is there's a lot of them, uh, just data not available. But we see there's there's quite a bit of activity all over the place. You know, here this is Barbados, Granada, Turks and Caicos, and a lot of data not available. Then we go over to Oregon and Australia. Look at that. That's a lot of shaking, and at that, I would say, is attributed to that blast mm -hmm. all the way from Australia up to Oregon. Boy, you know, on the Pacific, most definitely everybody had their eyes open that were aware of this, that's for sure. And that's a good thing, too, because, you know, you just never know. And we're going to look at some videos. You just never know. Wow, look at that up in Russia. That's blacked out. That's kind of a weird signature over in Idaho. So, yeah, most definitely when you get big things, you could see the whole globe kind of rings in resonance. Mm -hmm. And before we get going anymore, I just want to thank all of you for your support over on Patreon because we couldn't do it without you. Also on Ko-Fi and then also those that have been supporting the channel through Medicinal Foods, use coupon code EEA and get a discount. It does go to support the channel as well. Things like nano silver and silver gels and CBD, as well as all sorts of different wonderful products you could add to fresh juice to make really, really potent, nutritious shakes. And so, also, we have a geomagnetic storm watch issued for Earth impact possible late Saturday. And when we look over 
at, um, we look at some of the space weather going on, you see the KP index went all the way up to six. So most definitely that is curious as well. And then checking in just to see what the Schumann's doing. There's been some activity. Uh, it looks like we might be going into a period of increased activity. I have seen it way more whited out at different times. But, you know, that's another thing to keep in mind. Now here, we're going to look at some of the video. Oh. Yes, see, Cindy didn't see this video yet. I know, that just makes my heart like go right in my stomach when I see stuff like this. Could you imagine how afraid these people are? This is their life. I mean, that's incredible. Yeah, you're enjoying a beautiful day at the beach or at the harbor, and then all of a sudden something like this happens, and you can see the, the destructive power of water. Oh yeah, it it doesn't mess around. Mm -mm. You know, it could wash everything away. Look at the look at the waves in the background. Yeah, they're huge. Wow, that's scary. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this this was an incredible eruption. And as you see here, this family was in church. They just finished having choir practice, and the tsunami hit. Oh, no. I mean, that's scary stuff because you're standing there and all this water is flooding in. You don't know when it's going to stop. You don't know. So you got to be thinking about, wow, is this it for me? Wow. You know, you have warnings all the way up to Alaska, Hawaii, Japan, and the west coast of the U.S. Yeah, I mean, that's a huge worldwide deal. Yeah, you know, this was just an incredible one. And again, the Earth is going to get remade as it's been remade so many times. If you look to the prophecies of, say, Mother Shipton, and it just says that, you know, all the new land is going to be where everybody's going uh, to repopulate when everything settles down. It's fascinating, too, because she talks of silver ships in the sky that come and land mm -hmm. and beings come out and help people start all over again. As we see here, some of the waves coming in. You know, I, I bet you anything, there's got to be so many cloaked ships in that sky. And <laughs> they know what's going on. You know, and I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens. Oh, that's what George, George with the wild yeah. hair says that all the time. My hair. my hair looks like that right now. <laughs> <laughs> and again, we want to send our prayers to all these people that have been you know, going through this event, there's been so many events uh, around the globe. And again, it just seems like everything went crazy starting around 2017. Raining ash and tiny pebbles from the sky. Now this is Santa Cruz. This is over in California. Mm, yes, I've been there many, many times. Gone to the boardwalk, walked the beach. Yeah, I mean, it's beautiful country, absolutely beautiful, stunning, but I've never, ever, ever seen anything like this. Yeah, so, you know, here we have, you know, this is thousands of miles away. And here you see another picture of Santa Cruz and the waves throwing all sorts of debris up. I know, and, you know, what are these folks thinking? You just, you know, you're sitting there on a beautiful California day, and then this starts happening, and, and once again... They don't know when it's going to stop or slow down unless they've seen something and they know what's going on. But in these situations, you just don't know right away. Well, you know, there is, as we've talked about, something called louche. And what we, we've been getting is that there are these fourth density beings that control uh, many people in high, high positions here on this planet. And we've been getting that these beings are demanding uh, feeding, so to speak. And Lush, again, is just, it's an energy that comes off people when they're terrified. Or, you know, terrified or angry or all the negative emotions. And obviously something like this could certainly stir the emotions and create a uh, Lush. And, and, you know, I think that's a term that people maybe didn't understand 20 years ago at all. But I bet you now, I don't know what you think. Two, three out of ten people have, have heard of this term, and, and I'm sure it's going to keep growing. Look at this from above. Just look at that. That's just stunning. I mean, that's incredible to look at. And, you know, this is still just a, a relatively small thing compared to the size of this planet. Could you imagine if that were even just 
upped just a little bit. I mean, all the extra destruction it would create just by a little bit extra force. Well, you, you could see how much material is being pushed up and out. And that's incredible. Yeah. That that is like I mean, you could just see. See, here's here's the islands. These yeah. these are islands. Look at how much bigger this is than than the island. And I I did want to check on Miss Tina. Hi Tina. Hope you're okay over there. Well, you know, tsunamis obviously have been reported and all over. You know, you but of course, you know, many like say in Hawaii. I think I saw about a foot and a half, and could have been a lot worse but most definitely the the people that were close to this initial uh, eruption very very scary and let's hope that um you know wherever there are people that mm -hmm. are in trouble that could be saved that they are saved and that the angelic forces will guide rescue efforts as you see this headline pray for us message as surging tsunami waves crash in tonga after one of the most violent eruption ever captured on satellite it, it's just uh it was huge as you could see this was a massive massive eruption west coast under tsunami threat and you know again we'll, we'll keep our eyes open because you know will there be more that's always the question okay. when, whenever you have an earthquake or you know an eruptive event you wonder if there's something bigger coming or was this the big one you know as you see National Tsunami Warning Center issued a tsunami warning advisory for Washington and Oregon due to that large er eruption. That was just insane. And then we have a 6.6 .6 over in Indonesia that wiped out a lot of homes. And again, you know, this is the Ring of Fire area. This is the area that uh, is probably, you know, one of the most dangerous on Earth when you're looking as far as the earth changes so this one hits off of java indonesia and shook jakarta sent thousands into the streets two injured 900 buildings damaged you know this i just had to put in there right now <laughs> i just wanted to get this across it's shocking canadian health officials forced to admit they secretly access the cell phone location data of 87 percent of canadians 87% of Canadians to monitor their movement during the pandemic. Yeah, the, you know, the guides have been telling us forever, get rid of your cell phones, period. Get rid of them, you know, get rid of the F-I-V-E-G, especially ones. Yep. And, you know, it, it feels to me like the signal's been turned up uh, because I just can't stand, you know, the feeling of of using them well yeah i mean you've been getting a lot of headaches ever since they i mean just shortly before they announced that they were going to turn it up you know you keep getting these headaches and always when you're on your phone usually or making a video yeah absolutely so you know what we do is we just you know we have these like lead line case cases so when uh not using they go in there and and when we're not working on making videos and stuff we turn off and unplug the routers mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, maybe even retreat more often out into the woods again. <laughs> As, you know, we've been doing some experimentation. And, you know, one thing that we learned, we had tomatoes and peppers that were producing in the greenhouse, even in, in January. Then we did drop down and it got colder and uh, it took them out. But they, they had good long lives. They, they basically produced for us for o over six months. We're kind of testing it. So we know, you know, when it gets to be as, you know, as cold as we're going to have to heat the greenhouse a little bit too. It's it's going to be um, something that we'll have to do. But, you know, at this point, we still have food available, thankfully. Uh, I hope everybody is stocked up as, as well as possible because, again, it's pretty obvious things are, are getting tighter. And you got 18 feet of snow so far in this uh, Wolf Creek area in Colorado. So skiers are enjoying that. And we did have six lose their lives due to heavy snowfall in Japan. 21 inches in 12 hours as the extreme weather keeps going on. Yakuta in Alaska declares disaster emergency, citing the imminent threat of roofs collapsing due to the heavy snow loads. 
it's just extremes and extreme bug infestation yuck yuck right i know it's just i mean this is horrible what's going on um that's kind of gross too yeah, unusual rains and heat saw beetles reproducing in very large numbers invading a small town in Argentina. And uh, the town's been forced to shut its lights off for several days to persuade the bugs to go elsewhere as they've invaded everything. And, you know, these things all add up and obviously, you know, crop losses have been huge. And it, it surprised me the lack of people commenting and again, it's probably because of, uh, you know, just the, the big C word that's out there. Yeah. When you see that the fine dining ware country has stockpiled almost 70% of the global corn supply, 60% of the global rice supply, that's just like, I mean, everybody should be saying, whoa, or, or holy crap. I mean, obviously we are in very trying times and we have a cluster of dead birds birds this is in kentucky and cindy did get from the guides it was some sort of poisoning going yeah. on there yeah it's so sad and they somebody put something down to control weeds and these poor guys got to it and by the way there is a massive blaze going on right now or it has been through this chemical plant in new jersey and this produces chlorine and obviously it, the geopolitical situation is extremely tense right now and we've talked about covert actions going on now is this just is this just again another coincidence uh, another major plant fire we've had tons of those or is this again something covert perhaps some of those sleepy cellular units coming online so warnings for local residents stay inside and um, you know this is a chlorine plant as we know they use chlorine to purify water mm -hmm. and as we know you know chlorine and fluoride you know can have negative effects on the human body and of course we're exposed to all sorts of things all the time that have negative effects on the human body so we should always be detoxing right exactly yeah, so res residents were warned to keep your windows down, don't inhale, eight alarm fire. This was a, a big one. You know, there's been so many of these different plants on, on you know, just a blaze. And mm -hmm. So when I ask about this one, they're telling me it's a, a deliberate mistake. Ah, yeah, I think that you get those things happening. A hundred thousand pounds of chlorine are burning over here passaic well guys again these are times to be as prepared as possible please do prepare as best you can uh because we know we are seriously in the thick of it and and <laughs> it just seems to be going to an all new level it does it does be safe you know just take good care of your loved ones hug the kids hug the pets love as much as possible and Live the best life you can because this is a really interesting time and things are changing. Absolutely. You know, just check through your preps again, you know, food, water, all the things, first aid, you know, uh, keeping warm, backups yeah. to backups, you know, just do what you can for yourselves and your family and each other and reach out to family members and neighbors. And yeah, it's a good time to just basically touch base with people, you know, and just touch base with your neighbors hey hey joe <laughs> did, you, did you see what happened you know what do you guys think and you know just reach out keep trying to wake up people to what's going on the bigger picture and we could quicken quicken the changing of this paradigm hopefully yes indeed as always guys god bless and namaste namaste